Hello, and welcome to part 3 of the video lesson for section 8.3 of the PNN Staff Manual. This section is titled Photoshop, Not Just for Memes. In this video, we'll discuss layers a bit more in depth and help you understand more of the tools that are available in Photoshop. First things first, let's create a new layer by clicking on the sticky note as described in the previous video. It appears at the top and is a clear sheet. It's sort of like putting a layer of glass on top of a painting. It doesn't look any different, but there's definitely something there. Now, what happens when we paint the glass? Well, the results could be good or bad, but if we decide that we don't like how it looks, we can just take the piece of glass off and the picture is still the same. That's exactly how a layer works in Photoshop. So let's take the pencil tool over here and draw a little on our new layer. Make sure the new layer is selected, then click on the pencil tool. Up here, you can change your brush's size, shape, and hardness. And if you want to change your, the color of your brush, you click down here in this square and select a color from the menu. Now let's draw a little on our new layer. Perfect. Well, actually I'd kind of like to see how it looks without it. You can just click on this little eye next to the layer and it will toggle the visibility. You can toggle it back in the same way. By doing this, it's very simple to change your mind and adjust the image. If we had colored on the image itself, it would be much more difficult to reverse it. Now, some more tools. Over here is the gradient tool. You can use it to create a gradient in an entire layer. So all you have to do is pick your colors here, for instance I'm going to go with turquoise and I don't know, blue. Why not? Then click OK. So now, if we create a new layer and drag our mouse, you can see that it creates a gradient from this cyan to this blue. And it's at a diagonal angle because we dragged th that direction. If we select our shape up here, we can create other gradients. For example, a circle. You can combine this with Control T to create smaller rectangle gradients. However, it's sometimes easier to cre just create a rectangle shape and set the fill to a gradient. So let's try it. Let's go to the rectangle tool here and click on the fill menu. Now, you've already seen the solid color fill and the no fill options. Let's take a closer look at the gradient. So each one of these squares is a color. You can drag them around, double click them to change the color. If you want to add a color, just click, pick your color, and now you can see that it has three colors in the gradient. So if you hold down left click on the gradient tool, you can see the paint bucket tool. This is helpful for when you're working on graphics. Holding down the text tool will get you the vertical text tool, which can help you be more creative. Under the shape tool, you can click on custom shape, and you can select your shape up here. It's got a number of different things, and if you need more options, you can click on the gear and pick any one of these packs of shapes. So now you know more about layers and what tools are available in Photoshop. Of course, we haven't even begun to discuss all of the tools that exist, but I'll leave that up to your own research if you're interested. The next tutorial will be project-based. I'll be creating a graphic, and you can follow along. If you're watching this tutorial as part of the PNN class, you'll turn in your Photoshop file for an assignment in Canvas. See you next time!